It's college baseball from cold and dreary Fayetteville. Bob Walker Stadium is the site of an historic matchup, the first ever meeting between the Red Wolves of Arkansas State and the number one ranked Arkansas Razorbacks. Rusted Jackson Wiggins. Yeah, his fastball is absolutely electric. It's major league velocity. You'll see him running up there to upper 90s. The breaking ball is pretty good, but he's got to really fight that command. Arkansas, just a, a legend here. And there's a wave and a miss. So Hicks down on strikes. Three. Here's Ben Klutz. He's going to drive one into left. That's a base hit. So Klutz has had some big numbers as of last. That's just some heat. Country hardball from Jackson Wiggins. Strikes out a couple of Red Wolves. 3-0 pitch, and no surprise, Zach Gregory is on. That's the one thing, the thing to swing at. He does not. He hesitated for a split second. And that big breaking ball is cut on a missed. And that was a dandy right there by Tyler Jeans. First. 2-1 from Jeans as a chopper softly hit to third. Klutz is there, throwing on the run. The inning ends. Razorbacks got a couple of free base runners. Did not score. Sign me up. DeShazer is going to wave and miss. Third strikeout for Jackson Wiggins. As the season goes on in Knoxville against Tennessee, that one lifted a mile in the air to right center. Franklin searching for the fence. He's got room shy of the track that makes the catch. Culver hit that ball in the air a long time. Offensively for the Razorbacks up to this point. Pitch is just above the belt, apparently high. That's the third wall. Leach. Battles will run. Doesn't matter. That's ball four. So four walks. And Gregory. Will rip and miss to Heston Toll. So Wiggins got his two innings in. Toll comes on in relief to work in this third. I think that was a good sign that Jackson Wiggins was throwing strikes for Razorback fans. And he takes strike three. Heston Toll didn't wait very long. Three pitches and a K to begin his like out. His on base percentage, 392. His average has been a little bit low, but the on base percentage has been high. That one is. Charged out to the track, but Caden Wallace runs it down, and Eston Toll comes out of the bullpen. It has a 1 2 3. Third is Lyle Lockhart, who did not see any action this past weekend. Yeah, Lockhart's been at times a Sunday starter for Arkansas. Some decent numbers in 37 and a third inning. It's almost like his hip doesn't work right. That one is in the air to shadow left. Jalen Battles will drift out and make the catch. And the one two is ripped on and missed. Well, Lyle Lockhart came out of the bullpen. Great matchup for Arkansas. Sends this one down the line and right. That's the first razor back hit. Will it be for extra bases? Smith is going to make that turn and continue to the second. The throw's not in time from Duncan. And a two out double. 25th hit of the year for Cullen Smith. By the third week of the season, they felt like they were just getting underway. They were behind everybody else as DeShazer will K and Lockhart. Culver fly to center, his only time in. He's going to wave and miss, and Lockhart has struck out three in a row, retired all five. Sent capacity. Let's just bring in the fans. Mississippi, Tennessee, Louisiana. There's a liner to left by Leach, so Dylan Leach begins the fifth inning with a single. He'll wear another one. Talk about the on base percentage from Zach Gregory in part because he's 3 0 pitch. Just high. Goodhart waited in case Jason Blackburn wanted to call it a strike, but now the bases are loaded. Yeah, it's not been third. Gregory at second. Goodhart at first. Lifted in the air towards the right field corner. Duncan back and four will score on a grand slam from Keaton. And the Razorbacks scoreless all night. They get four on one big swing. I talked about that approach for Caden Wallace. He's been seeing everything away. Flick of the bat. Watch this thing jump off his bat out there. That's a breaking ball, not a bad pitch by Tyler Jeans. Caden Wallace now in double figures in home runs. Who remember his 10? Hit it off that net behind the bullpen area. Like that ish. You could shuffle this deck and not really notice on some nights. And now Slavens takes ball force. 
Sharply hit. That's fair. Went through the legs of the umpire, Michael Mazzarisi, and it's into the corner. Slayman's with those big strides. He's being waved in. He'll score without a throw. And the Razorbacks have played it five runs this inning. It's been a long time since I've seen a smash go through an umpire's legs. <laughs> Mazzarisi was able to avoid being while Cole Ramage enters this game here in the sixth inning. He's the fourth pitcher already used by the Razorback. 13 straight retire and make it 14. Haven't been able to pitch much. Yeah, and there's some really good arms down the Arkansas bullpen. That's a wow. gift right there for sure Cole is. Ramage. It's a big chopper to Moore. He was playing back on the grass. He will throw out Hicks. That ends the A State six. They strand a program. Elijah Trest, his first appearance since April the 7th. Yeah, he's a guy that Arkansas might have thought that he potentially could have been one of the closers on this ball. Club. Amazing numbers in that three game series. And there is ball four to Cluck. Did he about clip to Shazer? And in fact, he did. That's strike three, so. Press just carved up Culver on three pitches after the hit. McCutcheon hits one fair. Inside the bag and into the corner. This is going to score at least a run and maybe two. And holding at third base is DeShazer on a run scoring double by McCutcheon. And it's a 5-1 game with a couple of ones. Zebulon Vermillion on with a couple of runners in scoring position in the seventh. Yeah, there are two outs for Arkansas, and Dave Van Horn wants Vermillion to kind of wipe out the, the Red Wolves right here. They're Soft dribbler. This is in no man's land. Smith is going to have to hurry. Stumbles, throws in time at first. Toller is out. Felt like that ball took forever to get to Smith. It took Smith forever to get rid of it. So there's your three outcomes tonight for Wallace, Troy. A walk, two strikeouts, and a home run. Slavens torches one to right. That ball's down, taken on a bounce by Duncan. Wallace will turn third. He is going to score. Slavens in with a dive at second. And it's six to one. Racer bounce. Then take your walks because there is a difference. High in the air. This is not an easy play for Toller. And it might drop. How about that effort by Olsen? Olsen was able to make that catch somewhat casually. Slavens tagged and went to third. The ball got away and he'll keep on running. So Brady Slavens advanced to third in that pop up in foul territory. And once the ball squirted loose near the mound, he just kept right on running. Olsen makes an outstanding play and just flips it in there. And then, oh then the ball just kicks past the first baseman. Sharply hit right to first. And it took a bad hop over the head of Tolder. And Moore with a wide Turnbull hold there. And Moore was looking at a no for four night, but he'll get that bad hop single and he'll gladly take. Rip down the line and right. Back to the fence. It takes a bounce, kicks up off the wall. Moore will score easily. That's the second double of the night by Cullen Smith. And the Razorbacks have a seven run lead. Pitcher at Zach Moore. It seems like Morris has thrown more than 13 and a third innings on the season. That's up there a long way. Who wants to be the daring guy to come get it? Look out. It'll drop. Talked about this tough sky all night, Troy, and that looked like trouble from the minute it went up in the air. Well, you had both Slavens and Smith were calling it. Saw flare out towards. Bates and it's going to drop, so Hicks does get a base hit. Tipton did not even advance. He stayed at second base on a single to left field. Yeah, that ball's right in front of you, and you should you think if you're the runner at second base. This is trouble. Into the gap in left center field. It's down. It's going to go to the fence, and this could score two. Here comes Hicks lumbering towards the plate. Close play, and he's safe around the tag of Leach. And a two-run double by Duncan. It's back to a five-run game. Final out of the eighth inning, Ryan Kostu is summoned. Yeah, Kostu's got some really good stuff. He's going to sit about 93, 94 with that fastball. And Kostu lost it. That's not a good sequence for him. Gets a second life. The 11th pitch is a walk. 
Costier's thrown six, 17 pitches to two batters, and he doesn't have an out. Bases full of Red Wolves. Ground ball to Battles. And he flipped it wide of second base. Which should have been an easy force to end the inning, and the ball just squirted out of his glove. And the tying run is going to come to the plate. What in the world? Slavens will field it. No throws, please. He'll take it himself. Inning over. Red Wolves leave the bases loaded, but they do score three to tighten up this game. Hey, Connor Nolan is on the mound. The last time he pitched at a home game, Troy, March the 5th. Wow. That's an awful long time. He had a forearm strain that kept him out for probably well over a month. It's probably almost like a month and a half. You haven't pitched for a couple months. to battles. One out. To do? And the payoff pitch from Nolan. Cut on and missed for a strikeout. Two gone. A really nice slap. His 2-2 pitch. Cut on and missed. That's the game and the Razorbacks take down the Red Wolves 8-4. Well it's really great to see both these teams come out and play a, a baseball game and Kind of went the way you thought it would. Arkansas was a little bit sloppy with this ball game, but again, it's just a great historic ball game tonight.